everybody's gonna, oh everybody's gonna, oh everybody's gonna. Hey everybody, uh, this is weird. Um, so me and Anthony are. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've tried looking at each other while we're recording. Well, I guess the second time. Um, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a uh, now you're going to be able to now the only person Anthony is going to be able to see my frustration when I'm talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> and Doug will see my wiener <laughs> again. <laughs> again. So I think I'm done with Twitter. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I was I was looking at it today. You know, I I try to be pretty heavily involved in getting the word of our getting our word out there to the masses. Sure. Um, and I was looking at it, and I have tweeted five thousand four hundred and thirty seven times. <laughs> Holy fuck! I I have run out of things to tweet. I have. <laughs> so the bad thing is, I think is I that... made it like twenty, and before I ran out, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that little experiment where last week's episode I didn't tweet at all um, yeah. for, throughout the week, and it showed with our numbers. So, which I'm, I'm okay with. We got more than one, right? <laughs> I'm good. But so it's either do you want people to listen to this piece of shit or not? I, I mean, if I had to choose, then I'd say yes. But <laughs> but. If I had to choose and get on Twitter, I'd say no. <laughs> so why don't we switch roles? Why don't why don't why don't you do the the social media shit and I'll do the editing? Because then somebody will be doing social media and nobody will be listening. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> that's really the only thing that would change. Because um, I suck at it. I tried it for like three days, and I don't see how you do it. I, I don't I honestly have a, a new understanding because i don't see how you do it it was brutal it was it was fucking tough man look at me when you talk to me god damn it i can't i can't <laughs> do it i'm looking i'm looking past you uh so are we going to release the first episode of the beastie boys show or are we going to wait until they're all recorded and then release i think we should release the first one so i mean all right i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it right now <laughs> I mean, cool. <laughs> All right. All right. It's released. <laughs> All right. So Fine. look for that. By the time you hear this, that'll be out. Uh, yep. It's at uh, beastieboys.com. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we are it's, trying an experiment this week as far as our recording and releasing. So t this is 1022, uh, 8 o'clock at night. So you should be hearing this by 10, 24, 8 o'clock at night. If not, then you can redirect your fucking anger at Anthony. It would redirect? I, think, I don't think they have to redirect anything. Um, so I had a, a interesting experience yesterday. You know, I live in this town. It, it's a nice town. It's got a really, really, I guess, beautiful. If That sounds a little faggy, but it's got a nice... <laughs> beautiful sounds faggy. <laughs> <laughs> Where have we gone as a culture? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sounds faggy. Come on. <laughs> it's a very trendy, trendy neighborhood. Anyway, uh, so in in the town square there, there's a bunch of uh, restaurants and craft breweries and ice cream store and all that bullshit. Anything that you could want if you were like a uh, tourist or something. Sweet. So there's this guy. He He's down there every time that I've been down there. And he plays that, what's the fucking thing with the rings on it? And you just bang it against it. Ching, cha ching, cha ching. It's, it's <laughs> the it's little got, finger symbols? <laughs> no, but it's got like, it's the fucking ring, like a, like the banjo without the fucking neck on it. And then it's got rings around it. And then you make a beat with it by banging it against something or something. Oh, like a tambourine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So anyway, he's got that and he sings... I, I would put him at probably a 70-year-old black guy. Um, what's so fucking funny? It's a ba like a banjo without the strings on it. That's just, that just caught me. That's funny. <laughs> Isn't that what it looks like? Yes. And now that you say that, it does. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt, but that's funny. Anyway, so he's an old black guy. Um, and every time that I've walked by him, you know, I'll throw a dollar in his hat or jar or whatever the fuck he's putting his money in. Yeah, sure. So anyway... Um, my wife and daughter had walked into a boutique 
and I was not going to walk into a boutique, so I went and sat. <laughs> I was sat at the bench next to this guy. Yeah, and he's sitting there singing this song, and there was something a little bit off about it. And I'm, you know, and I'm sitting here trying to figure him out as he's singing. I'm like, <laughs> you know, is he like? Uh, does he live in one of the nice houses on the river, and, he, and he's just down here singing for fun? <laughs> Well, yep. You know, does is he dressing this way, which is um, green sweats, a Christmas sweater, um, green sweatshirt under the sweater, and then a red hat with diamond studs sticking up about an inch, probably a hundred diamond studs. And I'm like, you know, he's just dressing apart. That's what I thought. Is he's just dressing apart? He's got his Porsche parked around the corner. So I mean, I mean, and. and He's kind of got some talent, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's enough that when when you're walking down and you hear the the banjo going without the <laughs> strings, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, this is all right. But his his words, it's like he just doesn't enunciate real well. <laughs> so it, it's like, walk to the top all day long, Robin, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, Robin. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, hey, okay, so I, I'm sitting there next to him, listening to him play, and he looks over at the guy sitting at the bench with him, and he goes, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. So he walks up to this really nice Mercedes Benz. Not his car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are, he, he, are you he, sure? Well, I, I, I think I, I am, only because what <laughs> happened at the end of the story. But he walks up, and he takes his pop and sets it on the hood. Oh, <coughs> bends down, ties his shoes, st- stands up, walks across the street into some bushes. And I'm like, where is he? Do- <laughs> well, somebody on my side of the road that was happened to have a pretty good angle started yelling, stop peeing over there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. So that sent this nice old man who I, I'm sitting here looking at him like, he seems like a nice guy. You know, he's friendly, yeah. smiles, all that. He turns into a ranting and raving lunatic. Don't you lie on me. Don't you lie on me. <laughs> what the fuck? So she who's, comes. What's that? Uh, who's lying about what? <laughs> oh, because he's tell, she's telling him, quit peeing out there. And he's saying, I never pee. Down. I don't oh. pee outside. I, I'm a grown man. I don't pee outside. Don't you lie on me. You just don't like me down here. Gotcha. Uh, so <clears throat> they're screaming and hollering in, in, in this really nice beautiful time or square uh city square or whatever yeah yeah and he, he starts saying you just don't like black people <laughs> and she said no i just don't like you <laughs> um so then she comes down and they they get into it in the middle of the street and then she goes into one of the the businesses which is appears to be like a uh wedding gown fucking bridal shop or some shit yeah so then he goes in after. Oh God! <laughs> so then I got up and I followed him in because uh, because well, yeah, you got to see this shit <laughs> to you know to save people. Yeah, <laughs> we got a crazy black man on the loose. It's time for me to. <laughs> Doug's gonna save the day. <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> so anyway, there's a bunch of screaming and shit, and then he storms off and and he starts walking down the street and he says, "I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving." Uh, I went back to the. Uh, place next door to talk to my wife and daughter yeah and then i hear that fucking tambourine going again he's right back outside (laughs) playing as if nothing happened oh my god and right in the middle of a song he starts saying she's lying on me (laughs) so he's writing songs about his life (laughs) so (laughs) oh but lucky for you i recorded a couple of the interactions with him oh great (laughs) I don't, I don't, I don't know how well they're gonna play over the, over the show here, but, um, and I probably should have had them on the ready, but nah, why, why the okay. fuck would I do that? You know? Yeah, we're, yeah, no, nah, I, I wouldn't worry about it. We're basically sending this shit out live. So this is, he, so he's sitting there playing the tambourine, and this yeah. is after, uh, after he'd got busted, he came and sat back down. So it, you'll hear, you'll hear the tambourine playing, and then you'll hear the same, the same guy that's playing the tambourine is talking over it. Saying she's lying on me. Don't <laughs> 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 
I don't know. Did you hear it? Don't lie on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, that's what it sounded like you were saying. <laughs> and oh, then, my uh, God. This is him screaming. Don't lie on me. <laughs> I got no respect for myself in there. What? Don't lie on me. <laughs> don't lie on me. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's going back now. He's going back again. <laughs> now he just walked around in the corner. He's going up into the the bridal shop there, and that's when that, I followed him in. That's the name of the episode. The bridal don't, shop. Don't don't, don't lie, lie on me. On me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was funny. Um, don't lie on me. Yeah. <laughs> Anything happened with you? No, no, we don't have them kind of people here. Black people? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think there's like six in the whole state. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Um, like I said, a million times, I lead a pretty fucking boring life. There's no street preachers yelling at me, no fat lesbians attacking them, nobody playing the banjo with no strings. <laughs> Get none of that. That's too bad. It, it, it really is. It's interesting here. I Yeah, I know. All right, so I wanted to try something. I don't know how this is going to come off. You know, I'm still fighting that fucking head cold that I promised would be gone and had a pretty long weekend. I'm not feeling funny, so. It's probably cancer. It could be. I appreciate you helping me out like that, though. I don't know that I like this looking at you shit when we're doing this. I know. Stop it. <laughs> We we should turn this into a way for us to make money. Like, all right, donate to our Patreon. So we've already, tri- we've already tried that. Actually, that's what I was going to talk about. Is I wanted to, I wanted to try to come off. Uh, fuck, my brain's not working. I think I stroked out again. I, you mean get off? Because I, I mean, <laughs> you said come off, huh? get off. Uh, sincere. That's the word I was looking for. I wanted to come off sincere. Oh, and, if not, if that's what we do, we're, we're nothing but sincere, right? I don't uh, think I've ever lied on this podcast. <laughs> I don't think you've ever told the truth. <laughs> <sighs> what I want to know, how did our uh, Max Hardcore episode do, <laughs> numbers-wise? Is it right on track with the others? Well, it's only been out for two days, but yeah, it's, it's doing all right. All right. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to do this live on our YouTube page. Live on the air, so we can monetize it that way. We'll be yep. rich. Not only can we monetize it, but we can also uh... demonetize it. <laughs> <laughs> Make that shit happen. I want to be monetized. No, but the the other thing we can do is when we're sitting here talking, people can be leaving comments and interact with us and shit. See, I don't know how I would like that. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Because you know, you know, one hundred percent, John will be on there the first fucking show the whole time, just fucking harassing. No, no, us. but but we could just say, okay, we record our show, and then at the end, our little bit could be that we go and uh, start reading some of the questions or whatever. Because I know yeah. there, I know a certain amount of people would watch it live. Sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll have to do my hair next time. No, you look fine. Thanks, thanks, buddy. All right, so we done then? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whether we want to or not, we're fucking done. So you're so you're done. Back back to the show. So you're but you're done with Twitter. You're kind of backing off on that a little bit. You said you had five thousand some tweets. Yeah, I, I, I've done. I have nothing else to say. L- <laughs> listen, listen to the show. <laughs> That's like. That's all you need to put, right? Just just whatever. So so I think whatever you can just basically take show notes and type that. Yeah. No, but nobody right? cares about this. Just don't look <laughs> for me on Twitter, fuckers. <laughs> I don't think anybody that listens watches on Twitter, do they? They don't watch, but they I know they hang on in every fucking whatever. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> they hang on every word you say. <laughs> right. When's he going to tweet again? He hasn't tweeted in 8 minutes. <laughs> 
that would be awesome if they were. <laughs> All right, where do you want, where do you want to start with this this thing here? You want to start with our don't forget. Go to our website. Uh, All right, yeah. So we're we're gonna go yeah. through our don't forgets. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know that we're supposed to read these titles, but it's our podcast, so fuck you if you don't like it. That that's how I feel when you say I don't know if we're supposed to. Fuck you, we're supposed to. We're supposed to do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> you want to you want to hear a podcast where they're done the right way? You fucking start a podcast. <laughs> what about everybody that listens that already has a podcast? <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> start another one. <laughs> start another one. Exactly. <clears throat> Why do we do this? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, we thought we had this whole technology problem licked. Um, so we sat down to record, and the service that we used was down. So, of course, the, the fucking the energy in the rooms uh, went, went down as well. We fucked around with that for about a half hour, and then we, I'm like, well, let's just try this Google Hangouts thing, whatever the fuck that means. I've never used it before. So now me and Anthony are sitting here So like two at minutes later, here we are staring at each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be funny, go. Uh, but I'm good looking. I, I yeah, um, but I think we're gonna <laughs> I think we're gonna use this. Like I, I yeah, think we're gonna I, we're gonna start doing our Google Hangouts and put them on YouTube as it happens. For sure. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. I just know that other people do it, so we're gonna I, do it. I've heard the word Google and I know what Hangouts are, so we're good. We're having a Hangout session. We're just doing it on Google. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but what I wanted to say is I, I, when I said I wanted to try and be sincere was our Patreon. Yeah. Um, please donate money to us. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point it's way too late for us to be sincere about that. <laughs> no, if, if you enjoy the show, just fucking donate a dollar to us to help us offset our Google Hangout fees. <laughs> You think this microphone was free? <laughs> you, think yep. these vo- you think these voice acting lessons were free? <laughs> <laughs> so you know the the funny thing is, is, so we go through this headache every week. We we so I've invested money for the podcast. Um, you you did too, but you had most of your shit already. Yeah, right. But and then it's like all week long of me trying to fucking think of things to tweet and. And then making notes for the next show, and for what? Why? Why are the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> so we can Cause, talk about because it, it's fun. <laughs> Isn't so, this fun? <laughs> so we can talk about some guy that paints fucking ski masks in a wrestling podcast. <laughs> Did you see that shit that he tweeted back? The shooting the shiznit podcast guy. No. <laughs> oh no! What? So he sent me a message and he said, hey, I love the episode. Thanks for the shout out. And I'm like, cool. And then he tagged me in a tweet that said, uh, listen to this podcast, talking about us. He said, listen to this podcast. They talk about me. And hey, who's right? Uh, Max Hardcore has a normal sized dick. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That just so, means you got a little dick. <laughs> <laughs> So Sweet. I, I I didn't do any investigation as to the size of Max, Max Hardcore's dick, but uh-huh. I did reply back immediately. All the shit that we talked, and that's what you take <laughs> you take issue with everything we, talk, we, we said. <laughs> and you're upset about fucking <laughs> you little dick motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way! I got a better angle. That just means I got a big dick. <laughs> Damn it, why didn't I go about that angle first? All right. Um, <laughs> He's got so, a regular size dick. Oh, shit. <sighs> Don't you lie on me. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i thinking you should cut that whole story out. Why? Because I didn't think it was funny. Well, then, then the title of the show won't make any sense. <laughs> Well, does it ever matter? <laughs> no. I told you we need to, whatever's trending, that's what we need to call our show. <laughs> Titties and Trump. Yeah, exactly. Every week we have to have Trump in the title of our show. <laughs> uh, again, no voicemails. Uh, <sighs> you fuckers. But uh, shooting the shiznit guy said he was going to shoot us. Shoot sh- some shiznit? Something. But he didn't come through. Uh, 508-974-4489. Um, 
and also subscribe to this fucking piece of shit show so I can quit tweeting about it. And I'm I'm just over Twitter. It's fuck. I should. I, under, I, should uh, I I told you I did it for like three days, and I was just like, it's too much. It's just all right. Done. Every week I do a little bit of math, and this is no different. All right. Um. So I'm gonna look for the calculator while you entertain our guests. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to read one of these uh, one of these here uh, dailies oh, I'll, that I? Uh... All right. So how many how many tweets did I say? Five thousand. You said like five thousand. Close enough. Yeah. Well, okay, we've been doing this for ten months, so that's divided by ten. <laughs> uh, so that's five hundred and seventy eight tweets a month. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <Christ>. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> divided by thirty. <coughs> that averages nineteen tweets a day. For what, motherfucker? <laughs> For fucking 47 downloads, right? <laughs> you could shove them downloads up your ass. <laughs> I guess that'd be an I guess that would turn it into an upload, but whatever. I'm fucking <laughs> done with it. You know you love it. Hey, I got a retweet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a long time. <laughs> but then I when, get, when pro- Go ahead. When, you know, I, every once in a while I'll get somebody famous that retweets something that I tweeted and, and I, you know, I sprout a little fucking boy boner or something. <laughs> it makes it all worth it. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, when uh, Julia Miranda tweeted that picture out of her wearing our shirt, man, that was fucking cool. That was awesome. I mean, I, yeah, that was great. I'm like, man, that does that make us officially famous? I think, <laughs> I think it kind of does, right? I felt officially famous when her husband was going to use our shirt for a chamois. <laughs> <laughs> to wash that car? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's get into this fucking thing. So yeah, I can start yeah. tweeting about it, motherfucker. <laughs> you just, why don't you live tweet? Live tweet the whole show. <laughs> I can't even concentrate on what I'm saying when there's nothing else going on. Now I've got this fucking video of you looking right at me, which I don't fucking care for too much. <sighs> Put, I sure. I'd put tape over your webcam. <laughs> That's still, I'm still going to see you. <laughs> I know. I was trying to solve my problem. <laughs> Fuck. Did you cover oh, up your window with the shit. screen? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So, which, what, you know, I made, I made this note, and, and this is something that dawned on me this week with uh, Trump mm-hmm. that. I feel like I'm losing my ability, my my critical thinking skills. So I've always prided myself on the fact that when somebody's talking to me, I can dissect what they're saying on the fly and, and almost just think it com- logically. I think everything through logically, as you know. Sure. But with Trump, I'm, I've, I've lost that ability. <laughs> once. I mean, somebody could, somebody could say, can you believe that Donald Trump – went poop today and i would be like god damn it I, that piece of shit i knew it. he that's all he's doing is just shitting <laughs> that's all he does does he ever do anything else <laughs> so what's what started it was with the the four soldiers that were killed and there was that fucking long delay in him reaching out to the families or whatever yeah um and then the there was that shit going around about that he had told the wife or mom whatever the fuck she was that he, he knew what he was getting into yeah did you see that yeah i heard i read about it yeah yeah so i immediately i'm like that heartless son of a bitch he don't even it's a fucking black guy and he don't even fucking care and he's gonna say this and you know and 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 my mind was racing like that for a little bit and then it dawned on me that if if you were gonna talk to somebody yeah like let's say that you Let's say you died in a fire. Okay. Right. Um, let's say that you ran in to save your family's cat, whatever. Dog, All right. Um, and you died. Okay. Could I have your mixer? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All no, right. Thanks but, for joining us, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but but it could be said, you know, Anthony knew what he was facing, and he, and he, he knew what he was getting into, and he still went in. To do yeah, that. yeah, that sounds heroic. It makes right. it sound more heroic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew what I was getting into. Fuck that fire. 
I don't know, it just it just bothered me. It's like I I kind of feel myself getting sucked in to, uh, I guess how I'm supposed to think. You know, the the worst part about you saying all of this is now, anybody that hears this, that he's a fucking Trump supporter. Fuck that guy. He's a Nazi. <laughs> You're a Nazi Trump supporter now. Yeah, and then I will be outside my house protesting me. <laughs> so I, I I feel like I have to preface everything I say with I don't like Trump, but I think there's a couple of things that he did that are right. I don't think we should be in any of those stupid fucking trade agreements. That's a good thing. He had the balls to say, no, we're not getting into these trade agreements that aren't good for our country. Now I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, since this is the first time that I can see you while we're recording, I, I noticed that swastika hanging on your wall. <laughs> yep. Now it makes sense. Now <laughs> it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Last week it was you trying to fist a twelve-year-old. And <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, you got you got the voices mixed up. <laughs> Last week it was you trying to. Vo- <laughs> that was my Kermit the Frog. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was good. Uh, yeah. So and fuck it, it bothers me because I I know that I'm smarter than that, and I see I see. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I I just see that that the bandwagon or whatever. Well, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> the bandwagon or whatever it starts going one way. And you can see how it's like a river going down the shore, just grabbing shit and bringing it in with it and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And then pretty soon nobody even knows what, where the fuck they're going or why they're screaming. They just know <laughs> yeah. that they are and Trump's an asshole, yep. which I do think Trump is an asshole. See, and that's that's the thing is that you, if you don't disagree with everything he does all the time, people put you on the side of his supporters, right? And it there's... There's a nuance to everything. We've lost all nuance. You know what I mean? We've lost all sense of any kind of center. Everything is either hard left or hard right. Fuck, man. I'm a hard center kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was like um, that. The, everything else, though, I always go just like Be- when that shit happened with Vegas. Yeah. I immediately thought. All right, so the media is filling our heads with bullshit, and if there, I I still don't think that he was either the lone shooter or he was by himself. I still I think there's more to the story than what we know. Sure. Um. Every everything else, nine eleven, everything. I go way off center, way off yep. what what mainstream is thinking. Sure. Um, so right after that shit happened in Vegas, like I said, I follow those uh, conspiracy websites you know so there's like 37 posts about vegas this conspiracy that this conspiracy and right in the middle of all those i don't know every three or four there's a flat earth conspiracy that throws me off the whole fucking thing (laughs) so you guys are obviously just fucking retards (laughs) fucking flat earth and the vegas shooter was there was 12 of them or whatever if the earth if the if the earth was a globe he wouldn't be able to have the trajectory for that shot (laughs) yeah yeah, exactly exactly they they start mixing all this kind of bullshit (laughs) I, I I think the I think it's the most outlandish conspiracy that I heard about it, but it's I I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm going to get this all wrong. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, what, I think something that I heard was that he was a government uh, operative, yep. and he was doing an arms deal with some with ISIS. <laughs> I'm not, done. I'm not done. <laughs> oh. And the the deal went bad. So ISIS, I guess that's a Mr. ISIS. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. I, I, ISIS. <laughs> ISIS. ISIS killed him. So he was dead in the hotel room. Uh huh. And then they busted out the windows and started spraying the crowd. Uh huh. And then they left before the cops got there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's amazing. That's <laughs> that explains it all. I, that's like the the most plausible answer. <laughs> I'm I'm serious. I, I I think that makes sense to me. Um, so, so I read the headline, just the headline, because the, the the rest of it was so stupid. It's it was a post by somebody, and it said, uh, "I don't know the details of this Las Vegas shooter thing, but I think we can all agree that he was FBI." <laughs> but wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we can all agree that he was FBI. What? What? 
I, I'm not real sure how all this happened, but I'm, I know that Trump was behind it. <laughs> exactly. False it flag. It all ties together. Fucking False flag. flag. <laughs> all right. Uh, um, so I'm, I'm really trying to wedge this KFC thing in here somewhere. I just don't know. <laughs> you know what? We're not even going to talk about it. We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to talk about KFC. Please, Doug, tell me about KFC and nope. their herbs. Herbs and whoever. <laughs> Herbs and Spic- Spice Girls. It's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. Why don't you get into this alien abduction? <sighs> alien abduction. All right. So when I yours, right? put this on here, I figured we could have some kind of conversation about I was going to actually, I was just going to kind of ask you if you even believed in alien abductions. <laughs> I believe in aliens. Um, 100%. I think you're a fucking idiot if you don't think there's life somewhere else other than this shithole planet right. let me guess there's gonna there's gonna be somebody that listens to this as if you don't like our planet get off of it <laughs> <laughs> get off our planet <laughs> oh that's amazing i'm gonna you're take probably a right about that take a <laughs> knee <laughs> so this says a uh, gop congressional candidate says she was abducted by jesus-like aliens <clears throat> God is a universal energy, not a person. She told the, the she said the aliens told her. <laughs> but my main question after reading this, <clears throat> let me ask before I even get started, so you got a chance to think about this. Why is it that regular people aren't abducted by aliens? It's always the crazies that are abducted by aliens. Why do you think you, you said you believe in aliens, but only they only abduct the crazies or the drunks? You, you understand what I'm saying? Why? I don't, no, I don't. What? Why is she crazy? She's a what is she? I, it doesn't matter what she is. Jesus like aliens. Crazy. You're crazy. Why? Why is she crazy? I just because told she you. Said, because you're taking one half of her quote out of context and saying yes. this makes her crazy because these words yes. came out of her mouth. Yes. Okay. Do you think you're crazy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got nothing. Yeah, I'm crazy, but I'm not Jesus alien crazy. <laughs> No, but you're <laughs> you're fucking spread eagle naked with your wife and look at your own butthole crazy. Yeah, that's some crazy shit. <laughs> Are we going back down this road again? <laughs> well, I'm, if so the dildo if I fits. You, <laughs> if the dildo fits, we must have quit. <laughs> so, so what if I told you that Jesus was my butthole? Aliens. <laughs> Okay, what do you? I, I'm not gonna pray you, to you, it. You need to. I don't believe in Jesus, so therefore I don't believe I, you have a butthole. I, I can prove to you that Jesus exists <laughs> right here on this podcast. <laughs> now that we've got video, I can prove to you. <laughs> <sighs> you're, you're not. You're not making any sense. Like, oh, you you don't have a good argument. I don't. No, you right you, here. There was some. I went in. There was some round seats, Are and you there were at your some. Yes, <laughs> some, <laughs> helps me read. <laughs> so there were some quartz rocks that controlled the ship. That shit is straight out of a movie. So you're telling me that your dream was exactly like a movie, but you met fucking Jesus Christ aliens. No, you saw a movie and internalized it into your fucking dreams. You idiot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> She's so, crazy. Okay, I'm not. I'm not saying whether or not she's crazy she's obviously mexican <laughs> what, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so i'm Darn. not saying whether she's crazy or not that you asked me if i believe in aliens and i yes. said yes i do believe there's life on other planets you, you're a fool not to in my eyes why i mean what's your what's your reasoning for you have to have a reasoning to call somebody a fool i if, uh, I, don't look at me yeah. like that. <laughs> so you think that we are the... You don't think there's any life anywhere? No, I believe there's aliens on other planets, yes. Okay, why? Come on, dude. See? That's my, that's my question for you. Because <laughs> you're fucking... We're just a fucking speck on, on the universe's balls. That's all we are. There's no God. There's no heaven. There's no happiness. <laughs> There's no happiness. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? Happiness is this podcast. 
Yeah. That's our next shirt. <laughs> Happiness is this podcast, and then a picture of fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I like it. <laughs> no. So I, I have to believe that there are aliens, right? But I also believe that they are, in my opinion, they're not like gray men flying saucers here i think they're probably more like what you would see at the bottom of the ocean single cell nothing aliens just life but nothing like nothing like us you know what i mean and definitely not like our version of jesus christ (laughs) fucking kidding me with that right so i they could be they could be fucking carpenters or sheep herders or whatever the fuck he was. I'm goat not fuckers. saying not. <laughs> Jesus Christ was a goat fucker. I think I like that episode title better. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta write that one down. That's what it is. That ought to draw if, on the download. I was just gonna say, if that doesn't draw people in, nothing will. <laughs> All right. So um yeah, I I I don't think for I think you're wrong. I think that if we wait about which part (laughs) that the only other life out there is like single cell life. There's no other intelligent life forms. Okay. The, the fucking universe goes on for like at least 200 miles past the earth. You know, (laughs) there's gotta be something out there. (laughs) At least. (laughs) (sighs) Oh, I mean, Jesus Christ, we have grown men who have <laughs> podcasts about wrestling. You think this is in- as intelligent as it, as it and gets? We, not only that, but we have grown men who have podcasts where they talk about looking at their buttholes <laughs> to each other. Two grown men. <laughs> so, seen your butthole lately? <laughs> yeah. So, you know what's funny is is so the podcasting is fucking amazing. You know, oh, I'm, trying to, yeah. I'm trying to get my daughter into it, and she hates it. Why? She hates every podcast that I play for. Maybe and play her a good one. <laughs> okay, name one. <laughs> right. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you on the air which one that I played for her today when we were driving. Okay. okay. Sure. But. <laughs> All right. You're, um, so we're driving and she said, can we listen to Spotify? And I said, no, I want to play this. This is, is usually pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we played it and the episode started the way it always does talking about the same thing. It always does. And my daughter looked at me and she goes, is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> is this a fucking joke? Shut the fucking shit off. And so, she, so she liked it. <laughs> I, I said, no, just give it a, give it a bit. Let's see what happens with it. And yeah. she said, we were about 10 minutes into it, and she looked at me, she very casually turned the radio down, and then she looked over at me and said, can we stop at a park? And I said, why? And she said, because I would like to go down a slide face first into a wall, <laughs> so I don't have to listen to this anymore. Are you sure it wasn't you that said that? Because that, that sounds something like you would say. Nope. Nope. And I don't know where she gets it from. But. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> no, but... So, I, I I love podcasts. I tried getting uh um I'm not gonna say his name. Somebody that we used to work with to listen to ours. Yeah. He he actually called me today. Yeah. Um and I said so he he usually calls like yeah, maybe every three weeks or so, see how I'm doing after the move and everything. Yeah. And he said I left a big void in his life when I left because we don't get to go out to eat anymore or anything together. Yeah. And I said, well, have you listened to the show? And he goes, no. <laughs> she said, there's enough there to fill the void, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you brought up this fucking alien thing. I, I think this conversation is way more interesting than the article. Somebody got abducted by aliens, thought it was God. <clears throat> That's the whole basis of the article. But our conversation about aliens is way more interesting. <laughs> All right, so we can leave that then. Go nuts. Oh, <laughs> go nuts for your donuts. Yeah, Oops. I don't want to talk about this one. Okay. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll read this one. God, we've got to get better at transitions. Been doing this for going on 11 months now, actually. I know. 11 fucking months. 
And every time it's still like our first fucking show. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't our transitions are are just shit. <laughs> All right. This is from Fox News. California restaurant proudly serves Popeye's chicken as its own, charges thirteen dollars. <laughs> A popular Long Beach, California breakfast spot has found itself in the middle of a fried chicken controversy after a Yelp reviewer attacked the restaurant for using Popeye's chicken and passing it off as their own. Sweet Dixie Kitchen, a small restaurant specializing in comfort food with a southern influence, was called out by Yelp user Tyler H. of Los Angeles, who claimed in his review, Before my friends and I got seated, we saw them quickly bring in two large boxes of Popeye's to the kitchen. Sweet Dixie, nope, nope. Once seated, Tyler H. ordered fried chicken and waffles that he taste test. He said tasted suspiciously. Oh, I stroked out again. <laughs> Once seated, tasted like Tyler Popeyes. H. <laughs> ordered fried chicken and waffles that he said tasted suspiciously like Popeyes. I kindly asked our waiter how they cooked their fried chicken. After checking, he admitted that they do in fact use Popeyes. After checking, he didn't know. <laughs> Hey, uh, Mike, how do we cook our chicken? Oh, so it's got fucking fried breading on it, right? <laughs> Excuse me, how do you cook your chicken? Oh, you know what? I'll have to go check. I'm going to go ask the chef in the kitchen. Chef. <laughs> hey, Mike, how do we cook our chicken? Uh, we buy it at Popeye's. <laughs> they don't even All have right. a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> The manager compensated us for the entire meal. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. Is that all you got to do? <laughs> Sweet Dixie Chicken. Nope. Sweet Dixie Kitchen owner Kim Sanchez saw the Yelp review and responded, boldly defending the origins of her chicken. <laughs> we, proud, we proudly serve Popeye spicy tenders, the best fried chicken anywhere, and from New Orleans, which are delivered twice a day. We also, in case you need to know, buy our gumbo from a friend who sells it at a local farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, because that's the same thing. <laughs> Oh, so I don't see a problem with this. Really? Yeah. What, I mean, why? I, I I wouldn't see a problem with it if they didn't if they put it out there first. You know, hey, come get Popeye's chicken for a markup. <laughs> it says right here we wrote in our board on the in the restaurant imported from Louisiana this week. Thank you, Popeye's. It wasn't a secret. We use the chicken as an ingredient in a menu item we made. We don't wow. use their sauces or anything else. What? I don't understand. Wow. The, I would open up a restaurant and just have like. <laughs> Big Macs and <laughs> come get a Big Mac and a Whopper, <laughs> taco nachos or nacho grandes or whatever the fuck. Oh. All right, I'm. I'm are you swayed me to your side. I'm in. <laughs> All right, I'm right. You're right, everybody. <laughs> Back to the roots of the show. <laughs> yeah. So so where they said where she said we use it in a. a as an ingredient in our one of our menus that i can understand because that's that's what you do that's how you make that's how you make shit <laughs> you're not allowed to you're not allowed to use lettuce that's <laughs> that came from the farm oh yeah have you ever had chicken and waffles i have not no it sounds delicious I or- though i ordered some when i moved down south here and i don't see yeah. what the big deal is i wouldn't oh, order you- it again really i like like sweet and salty together type stuff those two flavors together but i never actually tried chicken and waffles i tried the chips one time when they had those limited edition chip chips and waffle or uh, chicken and waffle chips they were fucking disgusting <laughs> all right let's go into uh placentas <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go into placentas uh, all right let's let, let's i want to try a real transition here once all right, so, so you need to say something that'll throw me a softball so that I can transition into talking about placentas from fried chicken. Speaking of fried chicken, do you, <laughs> have you ever I got nothing. Have you so, ever, <clears throat> have you ever fried a placenta? You know what? I have it, but <laughs> <laughs> I I know somebody who ate placenta, who ate the placenta <clears throat> of, the, of their of she has three children and she ate all three placentas. <clears throat> I'm not joking yeah. either. <laughs> I'm not going to mention who it is. I know who it is. Uh, and I assume she ate him out of a fucking plastic <laughs> swimming pool in her fucking living room. <laughs> Raw. Just, it came out and she stuck it with a fork. <laughs> nope. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> 
some <laughs> some fava beans. <laughs> oh shit! Don't they, isn't that? I guess I should read the story before we jump right into me attacking you for knowing somebody that did that <laughs> for knowing a cannibal, not turning them in. <laughs> Not turn them in. <laughs> oh shit! More than I think I'm starting right in the middle of the fucking story. No, you don't miss the headline. <laughs> don't eat your placenta, researchers warn. <laughs> we're, okay, we're starting the show with that. <laughs> that's that's the st- don't eat your placenta, dumbass. <laughs> More than 200 millennia of human civilization and two centuries of modern medicine have brought us to this recent heavy-handed adamnation by your scientific researchers. It's probably a bad idea to eat your placenta. Uh, the 11-page medical jargon-filled article published this month in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology seek to provide a clear answer to what many view as somewhat gross question. Over the past decade, the authors say there's been a growing interest in natural childbirth by wary of bringing a human life into the world in an antiseptic room full of intravenous drugs, gloved doctors, and fluorescent light. And many have questioned whether doctors have it all wrong when they place a placenta in a biohazard bag and toss it out. Nope, they don't. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck, here comes a couple big words. After all, for many mammals, the uh, consumption of placentas, placentaphagy, placentaphagy. (laughs) Placentaphagy, I love it. (laughs) So somebody that eats the placenta is a placentaphag. (laughs) If they're not, they are now. (laughs) Has been going on as long as there have been placentas, but the recent article seems to tackle two major questions. Is the practice beneficial, and is it safe? Oh, fuck. I I would say beneficial, no. Safe, probably. I wonder if you could put it, like, in a dehydrator and make, like, jerky out of it. (laughs) So the normal way they do it is they dry it out. I don't know how they dry it out, but they cook it, dry it out, and put it into pills and take the pills. What's it supposed to do? Make you more of a hippie? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I, I really don't know what the benefits are supposed to be. But I watched my cat give birth when I was a kid, and the placenta came out right after the kittens, and she ate it. So it was fucking most disgusting oh. thing I've ever seen. Oh, look, I just shit out a snack. <laughs> yeah, it was the most disgusting. I mean, like, she literally pooped out kittens, pooped out a a heart, a little, maybe a liver, and then she ate it. It was fucking gross. Did you kick her out? <laughs> I kicked her. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> and it wasn't a her, it was a him. Oh, God. Oh. For anyone who missed that day in biology class, the placenta is an organ shared by a pregnant mother and her growing fetus, functioning as the lungs gastrointestinal system, liver, and kidneys of the developing child. So you're eating... I didn't know what that. Oh, that's disgusting. What the, what'd you think it was? Guts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's when you were okay with it. Yeah, it's just guts. I don't know. He, when you put a name on it, like, it's the lungs. That's gross, man. You're eating the kid's lungs. <laughs> Little fucking dommer. <laughs> But I, I don't understand if it's so beneficial to the people that want to eat it. I think the law should say you have to eat that shit fucking raw. You're not allowed to cook it up to make it less disgusting. You eat the shit raw or you throw it away. Fuck if you're going to be gross, you got to go gross all the way. <laughs> you fucking disgusting people. Did you want to talk about this Amazon thing? <laughs> I'm done. So, I don't, so we're I'm, moving on, are we? <laughs> Oh, yeah, so speaking of Amazon, did you know you can Amazon a placenta? <laughs> a placenta? So these are the same people that share breast milk. You heard about that, right? Oh, no, I don't I don't live in the same world as you live in. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so these are the same kind of people that go on to like websites or whatever and look for people that have produced too much milk and pumped it and froze it and they they buy milk from other people to feed their kids breast milk is, is there something wrong with that yeah that's fucking gross <laughs> i don't know if there's anything wrong with it but would, would you let me let me phrase this would you give your kids <laughs> somebody else's boob milk i was gonna say would you drink it but i i, I know you would <laughs> maybe um <laughs> i don't understand All right, so I I really can't think of a funny angle. 
But <laughs> I don't know why you would want to give up your baby somebody else's milk. So, so my my fucking head's spinning here. But so, if my wife, when she when my daughter was young, if she couldn't produce milk, yeah, then we we would just have used formula. We yes. wouldn't use somebody else's breast milk. Yes. The benefit, in my eyes, is that breast milk, I think, is more healthy than anything else that you can give. Yes. But that that's because the shared biology between the mother and the baby, not just because it's between a mother and a baby. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know shit about this shit. All I know is that people that oh. breastfeed in public should be banned from going out in public. I think we already covered from going out in public. <laughs> you have to wear a hijab or whatever they call it for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not going to rehash the same joke. So I think that uh, people that breastfeed in public should be left alone because it's a fucking baby eating who gives a shit. Yep. Um and if you give your kids somebody else breast milk, you should probably not have kids, I think. Maybe. I don't <laughs> so, know. so okay, here's how I feel for real. If it's like your sister or a really, really close friend that you've known for your whole life, oh, maybe I get it. But if you're just going on the internet and meeting some junkie <laughs> that has 12 kids and sells her milk to support her crack habit. <laughs> no, but who, why would you, why would you, why would you want to give your baby somebody else's breast milk? I don't understand. Because they tried to avoid giving them formula because formula is poison. Oh, so you know more about this than what you're leading on. You're part of this fucking world. <laughs> yeah, I drink breast milk all the time. <laughs> oh, dude. God, you, you live in a weird world, man. <laughs> I live... You, <sighs> I live in the real world. Don't you lie on me. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> so I just know a little bit of stuff about a lot of different stuff. I have personal experience. I know somebody that ate their placenta and that buys breast milk for their daughters or did when they were younger. Oh, they do that too? Yes. (laughs) Is that person living in your house? (laughs) No. (laughs) All right. Did that person person raise you? (laughs) No. You don't have to whisper on your end. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. All right. Um, that, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Did you want to talk about Amazon or something? No, I, we can take that out. It's stupid. I mean, it's, it's stupid. I don't know why I put it on there. Did you read it? No. <laughs> it's, it's, then, then, then it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's not that good. Uh, uh, did you have any thoughts on the Playboy having their first transgender model? Yeah, I think that's super hot. What? <laughs> you know what? I was gonna skip this, but now I would. No, die. I don't. No, I don't think that's hot at all. <laughs> no, all right, then I'm only if, only if she still has a wiener. <coughs> you don't even want to talk about it. No, I, you don't want to have anything. You don't want to talk about the Girl Scouts letting in Boy Scouts, or Boy Scouts letting in Girl Scouts, and the transgenders letting in Playboys, and Playboys letting in the transgenders, or fucking whatever. <laughs> so I'm I'm okay with. Playboy having a transgendered person, I don't care. I, I I honestly don't care. I am not okay with the Boy Scouts letting in girls. Why? Because there's Girl Scouts. <laughs> but there's Playgirl. <laughs> okay, then don't let them in. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is that the first time that that crossed your mind? <laughs> Right, but there, there's no play tranny or whatever the fuck they are. There's no play <laughs> play, play tranny. <laughs> so, so here's my problem with Playboy letting in transgender models. If you're you were born, she was born a woman. She got sex change surgery to be a woman, right? That's the story. I don't know. I didn't even read the story. I don't know. All right, so that's what it is. She got. I assume I assumed it wasn't somebody that was born a female and not with a big fake dick <laughs> sewn on them. <laughs> So, so she had a penis. She got the penis removed. She went through the transition. She's a woman now, and now she wants to be in Playboy. Cool. I, I, good for you. But once you transition from a man to a woman, if you're so intent on being a woman, why call yourself transgender? You're so intent on being a woman, 
and nobody would know that you were a man unless you specifically said, I am a transgender person. I all used right. to be now a man. I've got, now I've got to open it up so I can see what she looks like. Because that makes all the difference. <laughs> that makes all the difference what she looks like. I I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I mean, if it's just like me in a miniskirt, then, yeah, she probably <laughs> that shouldn't. would be awesome. I would buy that episode or that that issue. She's she's Draw not me ugly. Like your French girls. <laughs> she's not ugly, but she's got a dude face. I mean, she got Adam's apple. I don't know. I don't think there's a picture where you can tell. No, there's no picture where you can tell. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, she's hot. He's hot. Whatever. You're, hot. you're gay. <laughs> you're okay. Gay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're fucking gay, dude. Come on. Don't be gay. You're. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're being gay. You're being gay. <laughs> you're being gay. You think she's hot? You're gay. <laughs> no, if, I mean, if no, if nobody told me, I would never question that that was that was a woman. I would never. Yeah. So me, does I, it matter? Oh, okay. Play, so does it, it matter? It doesn't so, matter. No, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. But my problem with it is, is that she has to go out there and say, I'm transgender. I'm the first transgender model, blah, blah, blah. Why not just go and Playboy and be a woman if that's what you are? Don't fucking uh, so, announce that you're, no. you're transgender. So I, I haven't read the article, so I don't know if, if she's screaming from the mountaintops that she's transgender or if somebody's doing, you know what, we sh- there's a lot of quotes in here. We could just do this story as it's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's, who's going to be her? her, her I'll be her. her. <laughs> I'll be her. You be him. You. <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that thinks he's hot. All right. So I will be the narrator, and you will read what's in between the little lines or these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready? Uh-huh. All right. So let's start at the top here. Lugabatuk. 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 I got I, Keep saying it. I got you. All right. I don't think anybody else has got it, but I got it. Well, I'll spell it then. LGBTQ. <laughs> no, Playboy, it doesn't make sense when you spell it. Playboy have announced their first. Who wrote this? Was it a black person? Playboy have announced their <laughs> now first. Now you're ever, gay and racist. <laughs> Gaysist. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to look Doug, this up. I'm going to look up this author. Doug, Doug's a geisha. <laughs> That's what it sounded like you said, geisha. I want to know, because I don't think that's the proper verbiage. Who wrote right, this so thing? Right there, I see it. I bet All he's right. black. Not that there's anything <laughs> wrong with that. <laughs> but you got to look it up to see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, Google. His name his name is Blum. That's not a black guy name. Blumpkin. <laughs> oh, he is, he, Blumpkin. <laughs> he is as white as the day is long. Really? <laughs> Fucking Blumpkin. <laughs> and he doesn't like Trump, so I, I, I guess I can look over his way, his not knowing how to use the English language. All right, All right you want to get back on track here? Yep. <laughs> Right. Don't eat your placenta. What did what didn't Recovered you like back. here? <clears throat> Playboy have announced their first ever transgender playmate. In a gigantic change meant to move Playboy into new territory, the magazine has announced its first transgender playmate for them. You know, this will probably just cause everybody to quit subscribing to Playboy. That's kind of what I was thinking, but hey, except for you. <laughs> Yeah, now now I'm I'm signing up now. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna lose nineteen thousand subscribers, but gain one. <laughs> they're they're basically what they're doing is they're taking Playgirl and Playboy and smashing it into one magazine. <laughs> what well, what? So I think what they're doing is taking. So whether or not this guy's hot, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It, most most people are not gonna get that magazine. And acknowledge that she's hot. Right. They're going to say, why do they put that fucking fag in there? I'm not buying the fucking magazine anymore. They are, they are, by doing this, they are taking a political stance on one side. Yeah. I just want to see some boobies. (laughs) Does it matter if they're, so again, 
I want to, I want to see the puss. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I want to. I want to see the puss. <laughs> okay, so so there's no question on this specific model that her tits are fake, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> But uh, if they did some, what if they did some like horrible hack job, you know, <laughs> I, I think a hack job would work. Don't you, there ain't a whole lot going on down there. Right. No. <laughs> would so, you, like, you use like, the word gash. I think it would fit perfectly in this like, scenario. What if you, what if you pulled on her panties, you know, and, and of course the dick's gone, but there's still like half the scrotum hanging there and <laughs> one, one nut hanging out. <laughs> I think I think what they do is they cut your cock in half and they push the two halves in, right? All right, we'll keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's first transgender playmate for the November 2017 issue. The model, it'll be interesting to see if this thing fucking shoots up their subscription rate or their, their buy rate or something. Because <laughs> I, I have a sneaky suspicion that, that most guys are going to get turned on by it, by uh, this. Mo- but the, really? Yeah, absolutely. So do you remember when 4chan was huge, right? And they had that meme, uh, It's a Trap from from Star yeah. Wars, but it, yeah. they used that as like a... So <clears throat> I always thought people used that a lot more than they probably should have if they didn't really like that kind of thing. It was always weird to me. Like, okay, I get it. I get the joke, but man, this is there's a lot of this going on here. You guys must really like this shit. <clears throat> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, they, it started out as a joke, but they were really into it. So, oh, I can do this as a joke, but I'm really into it, you know? It's fucking hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Way to contribute, buddy. Yeah, I'm over this fucking episode. <sighs> All right. I think you're over every episode about two minutes in. <laughs> being a woman is just being a woman, she added. What? Why did you just start reading in the middle? Just that's your, that's your cue. <sighs> Being a woman, what, where? Where? I don't even know where you at. You just the mod. You said the model, and then you didn't say her name. Had a conversation with magazines where she told readers about herself. So am I reading? Are we reading the thing? Fuck! Here? This is you, well. Go. You you like just started reading. <laughs> go. <laughs> you don't have to yell. I'm sitting right here. Being a woman doesn't mean being extremely feminine all the time. Being a woman is just being a woman. She added. I always knew from within when I was a little kid in my room in the ghetto that a beautiful destiny was waiting for me. I didn't know how to explain it. A little voice was telling me, you'll see, patience. You sound like a truck driver. (laughs) Yes, she does. No, I was talking to you. Uh, (laughs) Ruau. Raul, Raul, <laughs> Hadouken. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're not going to go on with that <sighs> improv. <laughs> Raul <laughs> also cares about a multitude of social causes. Of course she does. Of course she does. That's... And is an individual when it comes to what she values. I will always fight for a little bit of good rights and women's rights. But above everything else, my cause is the environment. Nothing touches me more than fighting against global warming. <laughs> there's nothing, I, I would, there's nothing that makes my dick hard more than... <laughs> I, oh, I was made to fight for the planet. Hold on. No, you weren't. You were, made to, you were made to pee sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> you chose to modify that you chose poorly <laughs> I, I was made to fight for the planet the forest the animals now you're a fucking superhero if I get famous that's my first battle <laughs> first battle <isn't> <laughs> there must have been a battle to get your cock cut off <laughs> however as expected this is going to be the next wedge issue in the culture wars <laughs> I get uh, it <laughs> Wedge issue. (laughs) (laughs) The unending culture wars between progressivism and social conservatism. They don't just, they just don't end. They really don't. And now Playboy and (laughs) Raul will be right at the center of the flame wars online. On Twitter, the Playboy article received some extremely transphobic comments accusing Raul of being a man and not a woman at all, despite transitioning into a woman during surgery. 
<laughs> so, it's a, uh, so, so it's a guy that's pretending to be a woman. Lamayal. <laughs> Lamayal. <laughs> no, it's a woman being a woman. It's really not that hard to comprehend. It's a guy that mutilated himself and thinks he's a she. Not that hard to comprehend. <laughs> the founder, Hugh Hefner, died shortly ago and based his company off of women. He named it Playboy for a reason, not Gay Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't argue with that. You can't argue with that logic. That's funny. <laughs> uh, see, this whole this whole shtick makes it come off like, like you said, transphobic. Right? The whole thing that we're doing here, but... <clears throat> I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm very accepting of would you transgenders. Sl- would you sleep with her? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't letting that freak get next to me. <laughs> no, see, I can say I'm married. No, I wouldn't because I'm no, married. No, no, no. Let's, let's pretend for a second that you're not married. <laughs> I can't even imagine that scenario. <sighs> it's easy. You pull down its pants and then you put your dick in its dick. <laughs> so is it still docking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that if this if this chick would have said, I want to be in Playboy, and just went in Playboy, never said anything, she would have done just fine. But she had to go in Playboy and take a political stance and make, she's making getting naked political. You're getting naked! Just It's not fucking political. Just get naked. All right. <laughs> God. You feel a lot more strongly about this than I do. I, I Because I... I, I I adamantly don't care. <laughs> I just don't it, fucking it care. It sounds like you really do care. A lot. I the only thing I care about is that 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 they're putting it out there so much. If she's a woman, she wants to be in Playboy. Cool, be in Playboy. Be a woman. Don't care. But you don't have to say if you're now that you're transitioned into a woman, you're a woman. You're not transgender anymore. You're a woman. Act like a fucking woman. <laughs> <laughs> Make me a sandwich. <laughs> Act like a woman be a sandwich. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I think that. I think it should all be. Uh, every guy in the world can cut their fucking dick off and get in that magazine for all I care. Nobody yeah. reads that magazine anymore anyway. So I thought before I saw this article, I thought I remember hearing that they stopped showing naked women anyways, and they just they just went to the articles, right? Is that true? Yeah, I thought but they must have started back showing naked women again. I guess. Well, no, they're showing still showing naked guys now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So you know that there was a a, a Fuck this dude trans <laughs> there was a transgender person in Playboy in like the fifties or sixties. No, I don't. I don't know that. How would yes. I know that? I I was just asking. Sometimes you know things that I didn't know you would know. No, if it has to do with porn, I don't know it. Oh. So we, we live <laughs> such different lives. <laughs> there was a there was a transgender play some she wasn't a playmate, but she was in Playboy in the fifties or sixties. And it wasn't a big deal because she got transitioned into a woman and then she went into Playboy. Just like it should be. You're a woman, be in Playboy. Who fucking cares? You don't have to publicize it. I think you are more against transgender rights than the actual act of the woman being a, or the guy being a girl or the girl being whatever the fuck it was that went wherever. I'm, con- I'm confused what you mean. Uh, I think you hate trans people. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> why oh, why okay. would you say that? <sighs> well, because that, that, that's all you're railing against. <laughs> railing against. <laughs> that's all you're railing. You're that's railing all I'm railing against, inside. <laughs> Is the transgender <laughs> part of it about coming out as transgender and uh, so uh, what does transgender trans- mean? What is what uh, does it mean to be transgender? To me personally, it makes me feel free. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so I think it's taken on a life of its own. But what I thought it meant was that you transitioned or you were transitioning. That's what I thought it meant. So I thought it meant so- that. Let me finish, and I know what you're going to say. I. I I, I here. You just sit back, go take a fucking break, or whatever, and I'll, I'll fill in the whole fucking conversation here. So you say, what does transition mean? Transgender mean? And I'm gonna say it means that you're a man, and you feel like you were born into a woman's body, or you identify as a woman. So you cut off your dick and and shove it up inside you, and get rid of your fucking balls. I assume you'd have to shave your ass, and then 
um, <laughs> put in some tits and then wear a wig or grow your hair out and take a bunch of medicine, whatever. And, and during that whole time, you're transitioning. And then finally, whenever, whatever happens at the last thing, I guess when you get your eyelashes done or your nails done or something, you have transitioned <laughs> and you are now a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get your nails done, <laughs> that's you the have, final step. <laughs> you have transitioned, and you are now a woman. And then you're, that's when you say, that's fine. You transitioned. During your transition time, you were transgender. After that, you are now back to being one of the binary genders. You are either a male or a female. Which is it? If you're a female, then be in Playboy. If you're a male, be in Playgirl. Either way, shut the fuck up. There, see? That, now, yeah, right, I, I can get behind that. Yes. All right, come the, back to the, the show Especially now. the last thing you say. <laughs> either either way, shut the fuck up. I don't fucking care. All right. But, I mean, I care enough to talk about it for 20 minutes on our show, obviously. <laughs> well, that's because we, we don't have a whole lot to talk about. God, it's fucking hot in here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How's that smell? <laughs> Sexy. Oh, All right. Sexy. I'm going to read this here. Which one? Texas Dick Texas District alters homecoming queen's hair color in photo. This is coming at you out of Houston, Texas. I never they had a chance to normally, read this one. Oh, you'll you'll like it. They are normally liberal people uh-huh. down there in Texas. I'm surprised <laughs> after uh uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Uh Dateline Houston. <laughs> a Houston area <laughs> school district has I love it. A Houston area school district has apologized for altering a high school homecoming queen's purple hair in a photo. Ebony Smith was crowned North Shore. Now, wait a minute. Ebony Smith. Take a, I'm going to guess she, she's black. With a white person's last name. I'm confused. No. Smith is a black person's name, too. Emmett Smith. Uh, I don't know who Deon that is. Deion Smith. I don't know who Jamal that is. Smith. I, I'm just saying <laughs> oh, black him. names and Smith. <laughs> You're fucking Eb- racist. <laughs> Ebony Smith was crowned North Shore Senior High School's homecoming queen last month. Going, So are you saying you don't think that this is a black person? Based off the first said, name Ebony? I don't know. I th- when, I think, <laughs> when I think Smith, I think white person. Glenna Park, <laughs> Park Independent School District shared a photo of Smith online last week in which her hair had been altered to appear brown. <laughs> Smith, Smith, Smith says the image was poorly edited and embarrassing. The school district has apologized for posting the altered photo and has since replaced it with black and white version of the picture. Uh, the district's student handbook says bright hair colors are unacceptable in the classroom, but Smith planned to dye her hair after homecoming. Smith's mother, Tamisha Watkins, ah, they're Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> says the situation is up- upsetting because the district changed her daughter's appearance. Uh, yeah, so that is fucked, man. That... that don't you think that's There's fucked? no pictures? I don't know. I don't care. There's a picture of a dog here. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> care to describe that dog? <laughs> so how can... And, and even after they changed it back, they just put it as a black and white picture. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is why bright hair colors are banned from the classroom. <laughs> uh, there's There's a lot of schools like that. School dress codes are weird. <coughs> are we about done with this fucking show? Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all we got? We're just going to read that article and not talk about it? <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, you, I don't, I you don't need care. to get we some don't... air conditioning in your fucking room or something. Oh, it's fucking brutal in here, man. I, I bet it's 180 degrees in here. <laughs> Nice. That's it, I guess. <laughs> good, good thing you brought that article up. <laughs> yeah, you, you can you can cut that out. Why don't you read your uh, your things that you put in here? Oh my gosh! So this is from a a urine therapy face group Facebook page. <laughs> okay, fam, I need help. Fam, <laughs> I tried to drink my pee this morning and couldn't do it. I puked everywhere and knocked my jar over that had a whole day's worth of pee in it. <laughs> my dog licked it all up. Now I'm worried about him. You're worried about your dog, but you were going to drink it? <laughs> I'm feeling useless and worthless now because I can't even manage to drink pee, right? <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, how hard can it be? Well, I can't manage to do it. I feel like giving up. 
my advice would be to give up yeah. on life if you're trying to drink your fucking pee what in a urine therapy group on facebook you know so you you shared this and it sent me down the road so i read this and then i went on facebook and i was going to look up this urine therapy thing but i'm <laughs> I, i'm so out of the loop on how facebook w- works i was scared that it would show up that like hey doug <laughs> doug ha- doug is interested in uh <laughs> Drinking in his own piss, maybe you should, whatever. (laughs) You should Uh, friend Doug and pee in his mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, that's great. So, but anyway, I went down this this fucking rabbit hole of reading about urine therapy because I was. So I've always (laughs) I've always heard that your urine is is, uh, whatever the fucking sterile we're sterile yeah that you so like if you have a cut on your foot or something and that if you're in the shower just piss on your foot because it'll sterilize the wound you know who I, says that so hillbillies i guess but i don't know <laughs> idiots fucking idiots <laughs> don't P, P is sterile you're, though your your body is getting rid of it for a fucking reason you think you, your body you ever eat your own shit let's <sighs> that's, that's, that's one thing at a time <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> so anyway, if you do some reading, you you will see that that uh, urine is sterile. But anyway, uh, in my reading, it did tell me that you know, don't drink it. <laughs> um, so I, I went down a rabbit hole of uh, reading about urine and uh, urine therapy and rubbing it on your eyelids. It's supposed to tighten what up the, the wrinkles. I've, I've been pissing on myself all weekend. Just <laughs> I think I'd rather have wrinkles. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so it started out by me going to this page. I don't remember what the fuck it was, but I just took a screenshot of it. While most urine is water, waste, and urea, I still cannot recommend this as a viable alternative to the many diseases it, it is touted to cure, she said. <laughs> we have more waste in our systems today than we did thousands of years ago because urine may still have some antiviral or antibacterial properties or beneficial nutri- nutrients or chemicals that may be helpful in healing disease. I can see a future for urotherapy where the waste is filtered and we are left with just the positive properties. This is very similar to what we're doing with fecal transplants today. So that's where I stopped. <laughs> That, that's a good place to stop. <laughs> and I immediately had to track down what fecal transplant was. Yes. Um, so it is what you think it is. <laughs> oh, it's God. like take, taking my poop and now making it your poop, putting it inside of you. <laughs> what? what? Why would somebody do that? What would be the... Can you tell me what would be the benefit of that? <laughs> so then I poop it well, out? It, it looks like it stops your kids from getting autism. <laughs> well, it looks like my kids are going to have autism then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dad's not shoving poop on his butt. All this right. <laughs> <sighs> my, my fucking computer is just lagging like a motherfucker. So it's... Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm so irritated. Straight uh, from the right. source. Just, <laughs> despite the obvious downside, fecal transplants are a groundbreaking new therapy to treat GI issues where doctors take stool from a healthy human donor and transfer it to the body of a recipient. Restored, restoring the recipient's microbiome with good bacteria straight from the source. And now a study <laughs> shows researchers at Ohio State University shows that fecal transplants greatly improve the gastrointestinal symptoms of behavioral in children with autism. This is how it works, blah, blah, blah. From print where they appears with. I just want to see how they get it in there. That's all I'm trying to do. Just, they, <laughs> That's like, what I... They, that's like a turd sickle. <laughs> they just stick it right in there. <laughs> they fuck you, fuck you with a frozen turd. <laughs> I saw that movie. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> that's so all gross. Right. The study included 18 autistic children. Well, that's that's how they got the volunteers. <laughs> hey, kid, you want a popsicle? <laughs> I'm gonna have to stick it up your butt. <laughs> okay, Uncle. <laughs> the children underwent two weeks of antibiotics to wipe out their own gut bacteria, and then received a high dose liquid form of donor stool. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, God. That's fucking horrible. That's like abuse. <laughs> Here, drink this shit. <laughs> Eat shit. Uh. Oh, hopefully they at least made it berry flavor or something. <laughs> <laughs> that mine's corn flavored again. <laughs> Oh, this that's is... so fucking gross. You know, I got I got an idea. What if we get this guy to eat shit? <laughs> That'll be funny. <laughs> so he's he's a troll. <laughs> that's all he is. <laughs> We're gonna get I, these I liked autistic it. kids to eat shit. <laughs> I, I actually I actually liked this better when I thought uh, when I thought they were just trying to sh- take the shit and shove it up somebody else's ass. <laughs> That was way funnier. And it, yeah, not even frozen, just taking it and like trying to mash it in there. <laughs> the, the, we're gonna have to have these two kids go ass to ass. <laughs> no, this is for science. It's okay. It's for science. <laughs> oh. oh fuck. I've done a lot of weird shit, but I've never tried pooping into somebody else's butt. <laughs> oh, you should see if there's a study going on. You can try it out. <laughs> You're thinking about it, aren't you? Well, I'm, I'm going through the logistics of it now. How you'd have to? How you, kind you can't of even. Like, you can't even look at your own butthole if you want. <laughs> oh my god. So what about just for the show, you and I go ass to ass and and I poop into your butt. Okay. <laughs> we, we'll do like a pay-per-view. <laughs> oh, if we get at least one viewer, we're doing it. Uh, $2,800 a ticket. <laughs> the bad thing is somebody would probably pay $2,800. They'd take out a loan just to see it. I... I think I would pay money to see. I want to see somebody poop into somebody else's butt. That's. I'm pretty sure. You know you what? I know yeah. who we can call. A po- <laughs> How do we always bring every show back to that? Oh fuck! She would just make it easy, man. You could just fucking throw it right in. You don't. Need- <laughs> it's okay. Just get it close. It'll fall in. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Like throwing a fucking quarter into a wishing well. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Hey, what's up? I am uh half testing this recording thing. So I'm recording our conversation. Half uh, just one sided. I wanted to see if it's gonna pick up me moving the microphone around or uh you your voice to the speaker. Um, so am I going to have to zip the file to send it to you? I know what it is. I don't have one. Yeah. Do you have Dropbox? Is there a limit to the file size? Huh? Uh, wave file. Wave. Huh? Uh, wave file. Wave. Huh? Uh, wave file. Wave files are pretty big. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, wave file. Wave files are pretty big. All right. Well, I'll give that a try. Or, uh, it, or one. Uh, or, uh, 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 drive. Or, uh, 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 u